Reflections for the month of May, which is dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thirtieth day, considerations on Mary's dollars at the foot of the cross. Of the swords that pierced Mary's heart, these are the three sharpest. The first, to lose the most beautiful, most holy, and most innocent son that ever was a most sore affliction. To see her only begotten, with his veins open, his feet and hands pierced through, dying between two robbers, just in the flower of his age, a most sore torment. But for whom this blood? For a Catholic, perhaps for you, who, after all this expenditure, wish to go to be damned after all. Ah, it is this which is a grief above grief, which wounds her heart, leaving it no comfort. What use? She keeps repeating, ah, what use? The second, to see the blood of her son not only uselessly spilled for so many Christians, but moreover to know that it will serve them for a second hell to their greater torment. Oh, what pain! To know that this blood will form the accusation, the reproach, the condemnation of so many sinners, who are, besides all this, her sons too. To lose Jesus and, to, and not to save you, to see you, even for this, more tormented. Poor mother, who will be able to console you any more? The third, that Christians make no account of this divine blood as though he had shed it easily. But, after all, why should man abuse it so greatly? Ah, this is too much. If the Son of Mary had not died for you, perhaps you would have sinned less. You sin from the confidence that you have in his blood. You go on sinning till death from the hope that that blood must save you. And so many are not content with this, but despise it, blaspheme it, and curse it. O oh, unfortunate mother, O oh, cruel you, if you will not show compassion on her. Example There was a rich noble man immersed in many enormous sins, who, though pressed by a mortal infirmity, did not give his soul a thought. Saint Bridget had admonished him, and with many tears had much and often besought the Lord fervently that this obstinate man might be converted. And she knocked so much at the gate of the Divine Mercy that the Lord appeared to her and told her to send a priest to the sick man to exhort him to repentance. This priest went and returned three times without doing any good. But at last, by the help of God's grace, so pierced his heart that the sick man cried out, Shall I obtain the pardon of God when for sixty years I have had no acquaintance either with confessors or sacraments? I that have given myself wholly to the devil and have promised and sworn fealty to him and have had close intercourse with him. Now I feel myself quite an altered man. I wish to go to confession and hope that God will pardon me. Having done this with many tears, that very day he confessed four times. The following he took the viaticum and on the sixth he died with the greatest devotion. When he was dead, our Lord appeared to Saint Bridget and told her the converted soul was in purgatory, and I expect it soon in paradise. At these words, the saint was astonished beyond measure to think that a man of such a bad life should merit the grace of dying contrite. And the Lord added, Know then, daughter, that my mother has locked the gates of hell for him. For although he did not love her ever heartily, since his habit was frequently to call to mind her dollars, and to feel compassion for her as often as he heard her mentioned, and to think about her, and so he is saved. Act of Homage Offer to Mary all the troubles you may have to bear today as a comfort for her dollars. Ejaculation O oh, give me tears to shed with thee beneath the cross of Calvary. Amen.